So, um, I hope, um, whoever you are watching, that you have definitely looked at all the evidence that I've, um, posted of everything and to see, like, everything I'm saying is true. Um, first thing first, like, you, um, I put a video of the Palm Beach Sheriff's, um, this particular, um, day, my son was sexually assaulted by his father, and, um, when, when I started recording my son, because my son was showing me how the father was forcing him to suck his penis, and when I was recording it, his father took my two children in the car and basically kidnapped them. And because I'm a targeted individual, I was calling 911 and it took the police an hour to get to me. And when they finally came, it was the same police officer. So the same police officer that was at my house, it was two of them, the night that I was Baker acted falsely and they lied on the police report, um, is the same ones who showed up when I called 911 because this man was legally kidnapping my children after he had sexually assaulted them. Um, I had the video recording of my son showing me how his father was sticking his finger in his butt. I'm sorry. And how his father was forcing him to suck his penis. And I had recorded it and I tried to show the police officer the video. And I said, excuse me, officer, can you please just look at the video of my son you said because my son is autistic he could have never told me those things but i have a video of my son showing me that he was sexually assaulted he was doing sign language trying to show me and the officer said i'm not gonna look at fucking shit and then another officer which was the same one that was there as well i said well excuse me other officer can you look at it he said i don't need to see shit either so i said why why don't you want to look at this you know, is it because I'm a black woman? And he's like, oh, well, it's dumb that you even call yourself a black woman. I'm like, are you stupid, officer? If you fucking have a sentence, they're going to ask you what fucking race am I? And I'm going to have to fucking proclaim black. So the fuck, you sound stupid, you know? But then they basically threatened me that if I ever called 911 ever again, that they were going to always be the ones to always show up and they were going to arrest me. So... You could hear the guy say, don't ever call 911 again. And then you could hear him telling me that I'm, you know, I need to take my medication. That's what they always tell people when you're mentally ill. But again, I don't have no mental illness. I, I have put my um, medical records right before you. It says right on there that I have a prolactinoma, which was a tumor or mass in my brain. And I took the medication for it, and I believe it's gone. A brain tumor has never equal to mental illness. Just imagine being 100% innocent, having all the proof. The proof is in the pudding, and the devil is in the details. All the, all the paperwork that I have shows that I'm innocent. It shows that I... That this child was definitely sexually assaulted because he has knowledge of sex. It shows everything. But like I said, the whole system is against you. The hospital, they saw my son was assaulted, but they purposely didn't say it. The child psychologist saw that there were symptoms of assault, but they purposely didn't say it. Again, this is all a part of, of the gang stalking that they gaslight you. That even a child, you see, I live in the state of Florida. Where there's a big distraction going on. We have this bullshit fucking governor named Ron DeSantis. And they have this big distraction around Disney World. And this anti-grooming law. And Ron DeSantis is going against Disney World. Because he's a big hero for the children. I sent this man. My case information. And he cares so much about the children. That Ron DeSantis has Sarah Lala. At Tallahassee, D.C. have threatened me that if my son had any STDs, they were going to flip the story around on me and say that I was the one who sexually assaulted my son. Look at my timeline. I've been advocating for one year. You don't know the advocacy I've been through. I would walk on foot with posters with my story on there and give it to people. And the whole time they were gang stalkers.
You don't know. I have done everything. And I live in the state of Florida where Jeffrey Epstein was thriving and surviving. Where the very people that I went to for help were the ones that were a part of it. DCF was a part of it. The police were a part of it. The hospital was a part of it. The mental institution was a part of it. Like, everything was rigged against me. You understand what I'm saying? And, and guess what? This man never put out any videos. Oh, my crazy ex wife, blah, blah, blah. He puts nothing. He's living. He's living his life. And here I am, been advocating. Look at my videos. One year. Screaming. The same story. That my child was assaulted. And I'm innocent. One year of this. And I'm still screaming. And I'll never stop. I'll never stop. I'll never stop. But just look at the evidence. I called the police. The Poppy Sheriff to report this man to internal affairs. <laughs> They gave this man my number. That's why I had to put the video together so you could hear the voice. Because any person with ears can hear. It's the same person. This man called my phone. I called to report to Internal Affairs. And they gave the fucking sheriff deputy my fucking phone number to call me. Where's this? It's not funny, but like it's everything is so fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, how could something like this happen? And not only that, that they these people are so corrupt. They're so corrupt that all they can do is try to drown out my story. You know, YouTube censors my videos so no one can see it. YouTube, they hack me every single day. Just to try to make sure that I can't put out videos about the truth. Don't fix the problem. Don't fix the problem. Let's just hack her and make sure she shuts up. This is the United States of America. You got a crooked ass governor who's a goddamn puppet. Pretending anti-grooming don't say gay but you got a child who was molested by his own father and the case came right in his hand and he had the fucking department of children and families threaten me you saw the dates i went to the hospital with this child they baker acted me on the police report it says every single thing that i'm telling you but for some reason they said that i was hallucinating when i was seeing it in real time in, in the police report, it just says one thing. On the Baker Act report, they lied on there. Why does the Baker Act report and the police report say two different things? The police report just say that I that I was hallucinating. On the Baker Act report, they said I said I could fly and I had powers and I slept for three hours. I never said I slept for three hours. The thing is, they just came, because they're gang stalkers, they just came up with some fucking story. Why is they going so hard? I'm homeless. I'm homeless. I sleep in my vehicle because I, I, I reported that this man was molesting and is molesting my child. And in the state of Florida, I had to put the video because if I did not have the video of these people always bidding down and touching their ass to make fun of my son for being molested. This is how the state of Florida is. When I tell you I pray every night, if you want to know what I pray, I pray that God burns this fucking place to the ground. I pray that when they go to war, they fucking may never come back. You hear me? Ever. Look at the stuff these people are doing to these children. And a mother who told the truth, telling the truth, what they are willing to do to cover up their fucking ass instead of fixing the problem. Let's fucking punish the woman. What did I do to deserve this? You talking about targeting individual? What did I do to deserve this? Other than believe in Jesus Christ himself. And be a good mother. And a good honest citizen. And follow the law. They punish the good. And reward the evil. Here in the state of Florida. Here in the United States of America. Here in the fucking world. A child is out there getting fucked in his fucking ass. And being forced to suck his goddamn father's dick. And the fucking state of Florida follows you around. And stick their hand in their ass. And bend their asses down with their ass cracked. To make fun of the child for being molested. And the mothers 
I was so gang stalked, forced into homelessness. Can't apply for food stamp because they denied me. They cut off my children's Medicaid. The judge even put me on child support and I'm homeless. Look at how far DC Park willing to go in the state of Florida. This whole shit with Ron DeSantis is a distraction. You can bring as many bots as he went under my comments. These bitches be having all types of bots coming in my comments. Oh, uh, you don't seem too important, bitch. Your dead ass fucking grandma ain't important. Go dig that stupid asshole up and burn her body, bitch. The fuck? I don't give a fuck about what you say, bitch. Don't be coming on my motherfucking video with that shit. If you do, bitch, you go to hell, ho. You cursed. The fuck? These bitches be getting on my motherfucking nerves. I was coming under my motherfucking videos with their bullshit. It's just a motherfucking bot. Ronda Santos don't give a fuck about your kids. And when hurricane season come, and motherfucking Florida's blown to fucking pieces, and the flood, and kids are dead because of God killed them and all types of shit, don't feel sorry for the state. Hurricane season is in two months. Two months. You gotta see what, what, what God's finna do. God loves a big audience. God loves a big audience. You have to see. You have to see the face of the children. You know, you see the people following me around. You see me complaining about what they're doing to me and show you my case, but you never saw the children. I have to show you the cute little kids that they're doing this to. You have to imagine in your head every day that this man is molesting my children in the same way that the FBI is looking at my camera and hearing me on my fucking speaker. They're watching this child be molested and they're goddamn beating their fucking dicks because this is where we live. Goddamn pedophileville. You understand what I'm saying? I want you to see the face of the children. You see my face, the face of a distressed mother. You see the police reports. You see the, the medical report, but I want you to see the children. You understand? To see the picture of the children, it, it, it paints another picture for you. Let me tell you a story. My aunt and uncle died, and I believe it was due to gang stalking. When the man who killed my auntie and uncle was sentenced to jail, I remember my cousin did the most powerful thing that she could have done. She gave the man a picture of my aunt and uncle so he'd have something to look at about what he did when he was in jail. Even with detectives, when a child is murdered or uh, it's a cold case, the parents or the family always give the detective a picture of the person. Because every time they look at the picture, they're going to always equivocate and remember, I need to solve this case. Look at the, the montage that I did with my children. Look at the collage. Every time you see my videos, look at, remember those children are being molested as we speak. Remember that Ron DeSantis is the governor of Florida. And I even emailed um, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, believe it or not, to their Instagram. True story. Every celebrity, every celebrity, if I mean, every celebrity that you could possibly think of in your head right now, black, white, no matter what color, I sent them messages and no one helped. I was gang stalked. Every time you you see my videos, we talk about gang stock, think about my children. Every time you hear me talk about my child being molested and how the state of Florida is following me, think about my children. Every time you see Ron DeSantis on TV talking his shit, that he loves kids, think about my children. When you look at those videos, really look at my children. Really look at them. Don't just look at them. Look at the humanity of those children and see that those children are being molested right now in the United States government is allowing it because they just want to experiment on people's lives. You have to put the humanity into those children. You understand? Every time you see Ron DeTentis, every time you see fucking Joe Biden, every time you see, hear something about FBI, CIA, NSA, child trafficking, the United States government, the state of Florida, Palm Beach, Florida, Mar-a-Lago, Donald Trump, anytime you hear anything, you remember my children, please. Because there has to be a face to the calamity. Remember my children are out there right now being molested for no reason. There's not even a reason to molest children. But they're being molested in the United States government allowing this.